Oh boy. This looks promising already. Should I turn the music down a little bit? Okay guys, so I <laughs> I didn't know this game even existed 20 minutes ago. Now I'm sitting here playing it. But, you know, as a recent Ace Attorney fan, I couldn't help but be intrigued. So, I'm going to give this a go. And see what happens if I can get my volume right here. You know what I could do? I could use this switch over here. Here we go. Well, it's an interesting art style. Definitely got that 1800s vibe going here. The Chateau Crunier of Bottom, somebody, Revigil. A dead frog. Is that Monsieur Grinwy? Oh, mon dieu. Oh, boy. What have you done? What have you done? Why are you suspect? Who are you talking to? Was that just like... Okay. Let's just... Okay, you're wearing a coat. How does a bird... <laughs> Never mind. Sparrows him. It's midday already. Where on earth is that featherhead? Well, there he is. <laughs> Looking fat as ever. Oh. He looks like that other bird from Hot of Old Boyfriend. Except standing. Well, well, look who finally decided to get up. Haven't you heard what they say about the early bird falcon? Oh, too early for worms. Pass the Cabernet Sauvignon. There'll be time for that later. We have some business to handle first. Business. A letter arrived while you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. It's probably just more junk mail. Go ahead, Sparrows, and you may have the honors. All right. I'm gonna stay quiet for this. I'm not gonna be shouting or anything like that, you know, because... Mm, dear Monsieur Falcon, <laughs> I am writing to you today because my daughter... Dame Caterline has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. She's being held at La Conciergerie prison on charge of murder, no less. Her trial is in three days. F wow. Had a full attorney, indeed. I would be greatly in your debt if you would offer her your legal aid. Yours sincerely, Senior Puyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyumuyum
And this is the place. Guess we better go. Oh man, damn. It's a little fancy there with a zoom in. Wasn't expecting that. Falcon and Sparrows and step into the stone cold foyer of the sea prison. <clears throat> Solemn faced guards and visitors linger beneath the medieval archways. It's, ah, the sea. The super sea. They say this is the finest prison in the whole of France. There's some creepy sound effects going on here. The outer walls are impenetrable. The cells are spotless. The guards are well mannered. Well, I was going to say it was like Shawshank until you said the guards were well mannered. Then it's like, oh. What do you want? Good day, Monsieur. I'm here to see Dammy, her, Caterlin, to represent her in court. Ah, you're her lawyer, huh? Fine, fine, follow me. Oh, no. So what are you waiting for? Keep up. Oh, do I? Hmm. For a second I thought I was going to have to... Whoa! Okay, she's a cat. A bird defending a cat. That's... That's something. So my papa hasn't forgotten about me, has he? Yes, he has. By the way, you were adopted. You've arrived. The fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falcon, and his petite assistant, Sparrowson. The lady's knowledgeable. Don't. Don't talk like that, Sparrowson. She's not gonna hook up with you. My papa told me that he would only hire the best lawyers in town. I'm flattered. They weren't available at such short notice, so he hired the first people in the address directory. Oh, pfft. Well, that's pretty sad. Because aren't we like S? Mm, I don't know. Oh, aviary attorney. Well, there you go. <laughs> aviary, that perfect V. Let's get down to business. Yeah, we don't really know anything yet. We just saw a dead frog on some stairs. What is it you wanted to know? Oh, uh, who was there? Did you see anything? What happened? Let's just go with what happened. Are we gonna get to ask all three questions, or are we gonna have to choose? Let me think. It was Friday evening. Me and me papa had arrived at Chateau Crenier, the home of the great Baron Rogel. My papa spent all evening talking with Grenwy and the Baron about business stuff. Business stuff. Well, the three of them own a railway company together. So all through dinner, they were talking about company shares and investments, but I didn't really understand most of it. After dinner, this man with a camera took our photograph. That was a lot more fun. Sorry, man with a what took your what? <laughs> camera, it's a very new gadget. A tiny bug sits in a box with a tiny paintbrush and paints your picture very fast. My, my. <laughs> In ten minutes, poof, you have a perfect picture. I guess it was the 1800s. They had to make do with what they had, right? Wow, technology is amazing. I don't think the lady's explanation is right, Sparrows. And... Oh, let me believe. Still, the camera sounds like a very special device. I'll make a note of it. I'm sure the fact that it takes ten minutes to take a picture is going to come up, but... So after we had the photograph, I went into the gardens to get some air, and that's when I found the body of Monsieur Grenouille. Alright, so he's the one that got killed. That's good. He was all ripped open. A housemate saw me standing over the froggy Monsieur and called for help. Then the police arrived. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It was such a blur. It must have been terrifying. Yes, indeed. I think I might stop reading the dialogue because I feel like I'm just taken away from the music and the experience. <laughs> Good. Alright, who else was there? You and the pop. Your dearest mama on my man. Hmm. Okay. Housemaid Colleen. Hmm. Yeah, got that. And there was Robinio de Robinio. <laughs> The man with the camera, but he was only there for a little while. Hmm. Well, of course. Got 
conversation is boring. A typical night on the Titanic, as it were. Did we? You said the food was delicious. But you didn't say what food it was! <laughs> it was Meow Mix, what did you think? Poached red herring, well that's that's a step up from garnished with garlic butter. A marble steak, how do you even chew that? Yes it could. Huh. It's a bloody rare steak, good lord. <laughs> Cutlery, not even for the steak. Well, she's a cat, like... <laughs> okay, no silverware. So that cuts... Well, that's one less thing that could have been used as a weapon, I suppose, but... Hmm. The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Carinier and try to see the scene for ourselves. To try to track down the supposed photographer. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's more like two hours, really. Well, I don't know about that though. You get to a crime scene, you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Before you go, you do believe my story, don't you? I believe in justice. <clears throat> yeah, you tell that asshole. Er <laughs> I don't care what she wanted or needed to hear, what we... no. Oh. Phil DePew? What did you just call me? Oh, damn. Alright then. A little bit. A Facebook? Okay, that sounds good, actually. The name could use a little work, though. Nice. Nice, indeed. Alright, sounds good. Oh, we got more places. Oh, a new day, here we go. <laughs> and the game saves automatically, that's good. It's January 4th, Tuesday, it's probably cold outside, you already you know. You can also make a quick save at any time by selecting Save and Quit from the Pause menu. Mm -hmm. You can access the pause menu by clicking on the cog in the upper left corner, or by pressing the escape key. Very well. In case we have two places, and we've already been here, and this is our office, is here. What should we do first? I'm going to talk to the photographer first, I think. Actually, I probably should have gone to the crime scene first, because now this is going to be like... Hmm. We shall, but let me get the thing out first. So we have me. <coughs> or, uh, well, it's, I guess technically this is me, but... That's the wealthy father. Oh, okay. And there's Caterlin. Caterlin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Froggy businessman who was found murdered at the Chateau. Grenwy, okay. Well, Grenwy's kind of like Glenn from Chrono Trigger, so that's easy enough to remember. And then in here we have 20 francs, and in here we have our ship. We have the letter. Do you already know? Photographer named Robito attended the banquet. This is a red herring. <laughs> I'm sure it is. So do they all have bloody rare steak, or just her? That's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know, so shall we knock? Knock, knock. Wait, there's a note on the door. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> the magnificent and marvelous artist, Monsieur Robidiobi de Robidiobi, is currently out on an artistic expedition. Oh. Well. Okay, well then let's go to the crime scene then, huh? 
We should knock anyway, or we should go? Oh. Uh, well, it's possible that he left a note up there because he didn't want anybody to come by because he was there the last... Uh, I think we should knock anyway. I don't see the harm. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Let's go back and tell Master Luke. Nope. Doesn't look like he's in Falcon. Oh my god, no. We, we're not breaking in. We don't know that he did it. Even if we did, does that make it okay? I don't know. I hate the feeling of a wasted trip. Is there really nothing else we can do? I don't know. It sounds like it wants me to break it. I mean, if I if I ignore the, if I if I respect the note and go away, have I wasted the day? Could I still use the rest of the day to do the other thing? I don't know. I'm getting the feeling that's not the case. Like I feel like now that I'm here, I have to do it. Okay, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Are you serious? Maybe we don't have a subpoena yet. Hmm. Barber, we're not hurting anybody. Yet. Oh! Pff. Okay, nice. Man, I love the footsteps. Just the thought of a bird in those fancy, clicky shoes. Well, just like that. Shouldn't we discuss this first? Well, there you go. What in bird Jesus' name was that? Are you telling me this game just made a reference to Twitch Plays Pokemon? You are out of your frickin' mind, man. I said you wanted to break in. I thought we could find an open window. I didn't think you would turn into a bird-sized cannonball. This music, man. Swanky. Ostentatious. Yeah, I know, Bob Marley's gonna show up here before you know it. Okay. When you've had enough or when there's nothing else? Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot here. Okay, it does actually kind of sort of point out the things that you can examine. Wow. A bourgeois tigress in profile. Hmm. Paints, inks, and dyes. I'm not sure what the clear liquid in this bottle is. Probably nail polish remover. Dude! Yeah, really. Oh my god. See these pictures on the wall. Paris skyline. Wow. This guy gets around. It's a photograph of a castle somewhere in the countryside. I'm sorry to hear that. Did he die? Demoted! Oh boy. Where is Chugga right now? He needs to see this. He needs to see all of this. So does Luca Jin. It's a picture of a fence. It's a fancy photograph. Um, I, I can't do this. Okay, sorry, I had to adjust the sound again. I don't know if it's gonna make mess up the music or anything, but... It leaves the viewer defenseless. Out of all the pictures here, I would pick it as my favorite. Okay, I'm done. No more fence puns. Oh my god. This one? Alright then. I thought it was a spider. I don't know. Alright. I like that these are quite brief. Uh-oh. Hmm. Is that Jar Jar Binks? Alrighty then. So what shall we do? Do we just take this? We should take it. <laughs> We've come this far, we may as well borrow it. Sweet. I don't know, is there? Let's find out. There's gonna be more stuff around here. There's the window, there's this. That's for when we're done. 
done. Or this is for when we're done. It'd be funny if there was- oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> a butterfly, or maybe a moth. It's difficult to tell in black and white. <laughs> this appears to be a photograph of a ladder, symbolic of climbing towards success, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, no we're not. Wait a minute, that was a reference to Phoenix Wright! The stepladder versus ladder? Oh my god. This is a tiny photograph of what appears to be a jail cell. That reminds me. How illegal is this? You know, breaking and entering? Rifling through a person's belongings like some dime store hooker? Uh, that's very illegal, I believe. I'm not gonna lie to you, Sparrow, and if we're caught, we will be spending the next 20 years with a number instead of a name. You call 24601. <laughs> okay. I was thinking more like TK421, why aren't you at your post? TK421, do you copy? A chandelier. Chandelier. You should get one of those for the office. Luxury? <laughs> I would hardly call that a luxury. It doesn't change your life that much. Just a regular light bulb does the job. I've been seeing some ads for like these lights that like, change colors and they look really interesting. I actually clicked the ad. That's one of the first times I've ever done that. I think we're done here. Oh, we're done. Uh oh. Oh, one, two. What happened to my door? Oh, we just got here. There's somebody inside. You wouldn't. You don't want to go in there. Actually, you do want to go in there. See who it is. Oh God! I just lied, and now it's telling me do you want to lie. Ugh. What do I do? Some kids did it. Little weasel types. We saw them. I don't know. I have a weird feeling that I shouldn't have done that. 